Hello crafters and welcome to Peter P Crafts Lockdown Live brought to you by From Picture to Page and Beyond Paper Craft Shows. I'm Michelle Brown, your creative director at From Picture to Page, which is our scrapbooking, mixed media art and paper crafting community. And we're so excited that you are here and joining our community today. Now, Peter P Crafts Lockdown Lives is a series of demonstrations coming to you free on Facebook and YouTube and bringing you some of our best retailers and some great demonstrations with scrapbooking, card making, art journaling, gel printing and more. So for all the details, you know what to do. Head over to our website from picture to page and beyond.com.au where you can see who's coming up, catch up any of the sessions get all the details details for our retailers and of course see who else is coming up and while you're there make sure you're on our email list because we send out some very special specials directly to your inbox and they definitely will hit your inbox well before they're published on Facebook so whether you're watching here live on Facebook or you're watching a replay on Facebook or YouTube, we would love to know that you're there. So pop in the comments, say hi, and we will catch up with some of those people soon. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments as well. And Mary and I will do our very best to catch up with them. So today, Peter P Craft Lockdown Live is with Mary from Craft Zone. Hi, Mary. Hello, Michelle. It's Hello, so good everybody. to see you again in your beautiful bright yellow. Thank you. Well, we've got to brighten up our day, even though it is a good day out there weather-wise. <laughs> and we had a good couple of weeks ago at the Picture to Page uh, packing up show. We did, and you guys had a great stand, and you had um, Jeanette doing some demonstrations or make and takes as well. Yes, yeah. yeah, she had fun. We all had fun, and we had a beautiful show. And it was nice to see everyone after such a long time. I mean, we saw some of our customers in some new piece in Bendigo, but mm -hmm. that was March. <laughs> so, yeah, and let's hope Geelong goes ahead, but we'll see. Yeah, but it was lovely. Definitely. It was really great. <laughs> and yeah. you were saying you had some new things coming in soon to share with us. Yes. Um, well, as you know, we stock um, a lot of uh, the Madeleine stamps. So the new range that she brought out in um, called Sophisticated. <laughs> um, the range should be here soon. I've got to slow down. And oh, that's so exciting. Yeah, um, that should be here any moment now. It was delayed shipping. Um, and also we will be stocking the Lavinia range as well, mm -hmm. Lavinia stamps and their products. Mm -hmm. So they're shipping today. Yep. So hopefully I will have them in stock next week. Yeah. Oh, good. So, so definitely for the Geelong show if we get there. <laughs> oh, yes. Or online or our other three markets. Hopefully we'll be back in Geelong next week. Mm -hmm. Because this Saturday they have to get QR ready. Mm -hmm. Next week they should open. Yeah. Um, Akuna Park, they were going to open this week, but now they are leaving the site for COVID testing. So it might be open next week. And then we've got our church hall on Wednesdays, but we'll see what COVID brings us next week. Yes, so hopefully you won't be there next week. We'll still be locked down, but maybe the week after. Yes, exactly. We'll see what happens next Thursday. Yeah. And are you normally there over school holidays as well? We're only about three weeks out from the school holidays. Yes. Oh, no, we're working during school holidays. Yep. Okay. I've got my children, but they're adults, so they'll be helping me at the shows. <laughs> that <laughs> is good. Well, as long as the hall's not used for anything else on the holidays. No, 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 it's not. Actually, they don't use it during the school holidays at all. Okay. Oh, so that's good. Got that yeah. <laughs> yeah Excellent. We might catch up. Well, Mary, what have you got to share with us today? Um, it's one die by Studio Light. Um. I use it, I call it um, oval shutter, uh -huh. this one. And I've used it in three different ways. Mm -hmm. Oh, and excellent. And you can do it in ten ways, really. I only did two. I will show you the two cards. Mm -hmm. The third one is very easy. I just made it in five minutes last night. Yeah. Um, and it's easy and it's very versatile. Also, the studio light dies, they're only A5 size. Oh, so, Okay. Yeah, the people that are concerned, oh, it's a bit big, mm. it isn't. Look, it fits the A5. Yep. So you don't need to worry. Yeah, um, and that means it will go through some of the smaller cutters as well, which is always good. That's fine. And they cut perfect. Yep. And naturally, we sell authentic dyes. We guarantee the quality. We refund, exchange, replace, whatever the customer wants. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. Well, let's so, get you ready and we'll jump in. Okay. 
Excellent. Then while Mary's getting ready, we'll say hello. Hi, Bronwyn. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Tamara. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Faye, Diane. Oh, Pam, I don't think we've seen you for a while. Hi, Olivia. Hi, Lavinia. It's lovely to have you all join us. And it is, of course, lovely to see Mary back making some cards again and sharing with us her lovely dice. So Mary, if you could just put that down a little bit further, that would be great. Okay, this technology is really challenging. We have had a break from it, so it's taking us a little bit to get organised. I think Mary is right. So Mary, take it away. All right. Thank you. All right. Um, like I said, I've got, um, I'll show you the die. I showed it before. This is... That's the die we're using today. Right. That's the main die. Um and it's uh, by Studio Light, and it's SLESCD17. That's the product code. If you head on our website under dies, under Studio Light, you'll see it. And I'm making this card, which I really dedicated to my granddaughter. She was 16 on Monday. Oh, and lovely. And she does ballet for 12 years or more. So I made it for Olivia then, and then I made this one, which is made in a different way. It's the same die, but flipped that way. And last night I was thinking, I, I cut different colors, and I've made this one, which is this only cut one way and down. Oh, nice. So, that is so yeah, I'm just going to put them on the side, and I'll start with this one. This one I've used a bit of acetate. Okay. So here we go there. Um, see, that's I've cut it like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you fold it because it, it shows you the creases mm -hmm. when you do that. And the die doesn't cut the middle. Right. Okay? Oh, okay. It doesn't, and it shows you the creases so you can fold back. Okay, so you can have it like I did for Olivia's card, or this way. Now, because you get two other ovals in the die, I've used one. All right, and I've cut across. Right, and actually taken it out. Okay. I've taken, I've cut it and then, I don't know if you oh, can Oh, created see the window. Yes, we can see that now. So I just cut only on one. Okay, so it saves me cutting and that's it. Mm -hmm. And then I've used again, I've used a small oval to cut so I can have a nice border. Mm -hmm. And then I've used the bigger oval and I've cut acetate. Right. So I want to put a bit of a window behind there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now again, with the small oval, I've cut a white, and I've used one of our embossing folders that Jeanette was using at the make and takes, just to give it a bit of a texture. And I'm going to put that on the back of the card, like where it's fold. I'm just going to stick it there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use some glue because that. If I can find it. We know Mary yeah. loves using glue. I like glue. I like bling and I like lots of things, actually, especially in the last 12 months. <laughs> I think I'm improving and, yeah. So I'm just going to put – I start from the back of the card first um, and then we'll go towards the front. Okay. Now, on the die – you also get this side trimmers mm -hmm. or dies, which are nesting. So I've used the big one only and I've cut the white just to balance what's here. All right, so I can put it there. So I've cut that and I've got it ready. Yeah. So Mary, should... Wendy was just asking, what type of glue are you using? I'm using the Craft 
artist, um, which is used by John next door. It's a super tacky glue. It's very rich. And sometimes, I mean, I've got to empty it in here. And you add a few drops of water and then the glue and shake it. Right. And it, because this one has got no water at all. And it, it could be a little bit thick right. and rich and it's not easy to spread. So this is our best glue. I've tried so many, um, and this is the best one. And it's in a big bottle as well. It's about 120 mil. Mm. And unfortunately, it's not on my website because the postage, right. it's expensive. Yeah. We are selling it for $12. Mm -hmm. um, so for the people that have placed large orders and, you know, we cover the postage, I'm happy to just... You know, they can email me and I'll put it in their order. Or if they want it any other time, I'm happy to work with them mm -hmm. or come to the market. So I just got to put this down. Okay, so there's the bag. Now, I've used another dye called Happy Birthday. I mean, you've got to say something, which is by Nelly. And this one is SD095. And it's got the silhouette as well okay oh nice so i've cut matching colors i mean i could go get really lost in using many colors but i decided to keep it to mm. just two um so i'll just put that it's going to sit nice and you can always use that oval that you've cut out to cut the sentiments out and not use any extra card. Yes, exactly. From there, that's what I've used, mm. this one. Okay, so there's that. Um, there is my acetate. Um, because I've used metallic as a background, I'm a bit skeptical to use the glue because sometimes the glue on acetate against a metallic cardstock might not it's so secure right. so i've used the double-sided tape and on metallic cardstock i use the red tape yep which is really really strong and you save like if you use glue i find that it's all right in the beginning but then you know a few weeks later because i mean we do so many markets it comes off right so there's my oval and I'm just going to position it there. Okay. Okay. There we are. Lovely. Now, yeah. So because we get those two, all right, I've cut one white and again, one, the other one, um, of the turquoise that I've used, mm -hmm. right? And I embossed it just to give it some texture. Yeah, now, it makes such a difference, doesn't it? It actually makes it look a bit lighter in colour as well. Yeah, so I reversed it there. So again, I've glued it together and this sticky is not easy. And I use again the red tape. It's more secure and I tend to have this for a while. So I'm just going to open the cover. Okay. See, it just back there. Yeah, it, looks it finishes like, it off. Yeah, it does. Then I've used flowers. So I think it needs some flowers there. So I've used this dye to create the flowers and it's um, by find the trading and it's eight double D one zero two double zero and I'll show you And sorry Mary, who was that die by? Studio Light. Oh it is Studio Light. It's yep. by, yeah, um it's Amy Design, but it's by Studio Light. Uh, sorry, not Studio Light, uh Find It Trading. Right, I'm sorry. Oh, find it find it trading, yep. Find it trading, yeah, it's Remco. Um Amy Design. So when you cut that one, see, that's how it comes out. And then you get some 3Ds. 
See, I've cut two, and I've cut. You get three Ds as well. Just you know, the leaves and the flowers to pop. Okay. Now, it's a bit too much. So what I've done is I've glued those two together. Mm -hmm. I pop the flowers to make it a 3D, and I've cut it. Right. I broke it down. Like, that's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. So I've just broke it down. Okay. So I'm just going to just going to put half and half. Yep. And that's a great point. There is no reason why you have to use the die cut exactly as it comes out. You can always make it smaller or cut it into smaller pieces. So I've cut it. Because everything is still in the van from the show, and all right, so I'm just gonna position it there. Okay. Oh, what a lovely card! Yep, and like people say, bling. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put some bling. I'm gonna use my fingers because this one is so easy. I do have a tool somewhere, but at the moment my nails haven't been doing any work, so they're okay to me. Okay. I have to use it too. So there is our first card. Okay. Excellent. Um, if you don't think too much, I put a little bit of tape in there, mm -hmm. like I did oops, there, just to keep that from opening too much. Right. Just Sorry, could you just turn it sideways again, just to show us where you've put the tape? Yeah, so there. that bottom V, just to help hold it together. No. Yeah, on that fold, mm -hmm. I'll put it just so people can see. Yeah, if people want it a bit more upright rather than sitting down. But it opens too much, see? It just mm. opens too much. So I just put some tape. So when you fold it, yeah, it sits. Yeah. So there's the first card. Excellent. Nice and easy. Yeah, so it's such a versatile I, die. It is very, very. I like it. I mean, we've got in that range. Um, there's, I don't know if you can see, mm -hmm. there's four different ones Right. in total. This one is an open card, there's a side stepper, which you can play a lot, mm -hmm. and the centre step, which I haven't had a chance to play with those yet, but I really like this range. Okay, yeah, and so the oval's that. just such a different touch. It is, and, you know, with this um, other nesting that you get, you can put it on your other cards, your, any... A5 that mm. you have, you can use it to create anything you want yourself. Uh -huh. One other and you have the ovals. See, I've also cut this. What I wanted to do, but then it was going to get too much. I I've put the two ovals together and I got a border and I was going to put it there. Oh, okay. Yep. Before the flowers, but then it was just too much mm. lighter. So I didn't use it. But you can put it there. You can put it on the back mm -hmm. and write your sentiments. So, yeah, and that's, that's a good reminder to look at how you can nest your dies to give you a whole different set of shapes. Exactly. Now we'll do the ballerina one. The, I've used the car, the, obviously the die, but what I've used is two tatted lays. Mm hmm dies which one is the ballerina and the other one they're calling it floral shoes 
I'll show you the dice. That's the shoes. Mm -hmm. It's um, item 781638 by Tarit Lace. That's one of the latest deliveries we've had. And it also comes with a download. So, because I'm not good in colouring, I just print and die cut. Yeah, it is story. absolutely remarkable, isn't it, just to be able to download them and cut them away. That's right. And it comes in about five colours. And then the ballerina. Mm -hmm. I'll turn the hair around. Um, that's item 781636. And my granddaughter likes pink, so I've printed it in pink. It comes in yellow, blue, purple, um, and you can download and die cut of it. So I've cut the pinks. I mean, which girl doesn't like pink, really? So uh, that's me. <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah. Now, on this, I better move my stash away. Again, that's the white. Mm -hmm. I've cut it in white. You fold, follow that, and you're done. I've cut with the two ovals. All right. I've cut a pink and a white. Mm -hmm. And then I've used this embossing folder from um, Nelly. Uh, which is double E B zero two seven. It's called Small Hearts, just to give it some texture and effect to pop. And we're going to stick it down. That's you know I just glue one against the other, but I've already done them, so I wouldn't take up too much time. Now my glue. On this one, using glue, it's fine because it's all about paper. There's no metallic and it should right. do well. So try and position it. Now, the dies from Tarot Lays, you get the silhouette and the die cut. Mm -hmm. So we glue the first one down. Or you can use double sided tape, but I'm not that good. So with the glue, you get a bit more time mm. if you don't position. Yes, double sided tape is very unforgiving when it comes to moving anything. Exactly. So I'm just going to, you can use, what I should have used is my glue dots. Ah, yes. Because the details on the glue dots, these things, they're really good. Mm. See, now that's in. So I just remembered. See, all you do is go in. Lift the top and gently, let's hope this one works and I don't break it. Okay. Now the glue, I'll move it back because it shifted. And now and I'll do the same on this side. Mm -hmm. you lift the glue and that's the glue sheets there and now we can 3d the shoes because you get the extra pieces once you die cut so you can get them I should have used the roll but I had the little squares in front of me, so I used the little square. Uh -huh. But sometimes I find if I use a roll, it's easier to peel. Mm. Yeah. 
and this one there. Now I think I'll sit it there, but I'll wait. I've got to finish the background mm -hmm. first. I'll finish my ballerina. Those dyes certainly make that cutting out much simpler. It does, but it gives it also an, a very nice finish because I don't know if you can see the texture of the dye. I mean, her tutu and, and all that, it's really, really nice. Oh, okay. It has a bit of an embossing element with it as well. It does. And you don't need to emboss the tatted lace. Mm. It, they... Now I moved it. No, her tutu skirt. So did you say it was your granddaughter's birthday or is it coming up? Is she having a party or will that be delayed? It was on Monday. She didn't have a party. She was actually devastated Yeah. because she planned a big party because last year was also um, <laughs> Yes. Awesome. And um, she was looking forward to this one. They booked the place and everything, and then it's just been postponed. Yeah. Um, hopefully by the school holidays we'll be back to normal or she can have her friends over and celebrate. But, no, I didn't even see her. I just sent the card. Mm. She liked it, she said. She's the one that got... My first big shot, she was only about four. <laughs> Not you many four-year-olds get a big shot. <laughs> I know. She goes, I like these. I thought, okay. She goes, can I have it? <laughs> yeah. Why wouldn't you? So I've cut these as well, like to put on the side here. The... Just got to wait. I should have done this first. So I'm sticking to the pink and white. Well, that's drying. Mm -hmm. No one can see it. And Mary, Diana is asking if you'll have those die cuts available at the market in Geelong. Yes, of course. They're available on the website now mm -hmm. and they are the same price. We offer free postage um, on orders over $50. Australia wide. So she can order them now or she can come to the market, definitely, Diane. Okay. The other part of this die, you get the little corners, I call them corners or triangles, that go on the side. Oh, okay, yep. See, you've got all mm -hmm. these, you've got left and right, top and bottom. And they're not just giving you two to save, they're giving you the whole four, the whole wow. set is on. that's a great set. So, yeah, so I've cut. Yeah, because we need it looking okay. balanced, don't we? Yes, well, it needs to balance, like, otherwise it's not a finished cut. So I'm just putting it back there. So there's... Again, and I've embossed all the white. That goes on top, just so wrong. Um, it will go on later, but I've glued the wrong top. So yeah, you just need to watch which, which part's what. Yeah, because doesn't match otherwise here we are 
Well, while that's drying, I've done them, so we'll just glue them first. Okay. So as you lift them, you can tell that should go there. This one should fit here. Oops. Needs it. I think I put too much water. Try and balance. This one should have dried by now. So I think I need a bit more glue on the end of this one. thing is the glue dries clear so any smudges that you make it's okay mm -hmm. so while that's drying I'll add my shoes position them and it's so lovely how that hangs over the edge of the oval as well Yes. yes, I think that's a good idea because I try and have it sort of balanced. Um, okay. okay, so... See, it started to take shape. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Now, I was looking at this and it didn't look complete to me. Mm -hmm. So I got the same pink. Because it's A5, I crisped it in the middle and I came back. Mm -hmm. So to make it, and I need to put this a bit more glue there. Like, like secure things. So what I did is drop it in there. Oh, okay. So you have a backing. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I look. It's still okay. I think it's okay. But yeah, it, just, it just makes it a bit more solid. Yes. Oops. See, this one doesn't dry because I'm in a hurry. Just got to give it some time to dry, mm. and I'll drop it in there. Okay, so I'm just going to add a bit of glue there to make it tacky, just on the four. Yeah, just so the card behind it has got a bit of room to move if it needs to. Yeah. Exactly. So I'm just going to. And I didn't cut it, it's just a, a normal A5. Yeah, so the white card's actually slightly less, so that gives you that border. Yeah, Yeah, because when you cut it, you get a bit of an off cut. Mm. Okay, so and the best thing is when you fold it, <laughs> it should... So I'm just going to leave it a bit 
And what I did for Olivia, if I can find it, she was 16 and I've got these old guys. Oh, fantastic. From Quick Cuts. Mm -hmm. So what I did for Olivia, I slit them in there. One here. And one there. <laughs> like Oh nice. So I had no room to write. So I just put it in like that for her. And people that have numbers, it's nice. You can just have it like that. Mm. So anyway, that was just what I decided to do last minute. And just make it extra special. Yeah. So there is this one. But yeah. So it's easy. Just let the dye do the work. Make the dye, cut it, and then worry about what you're going to put in it. Yeah. So that's drying. I'll just leave it there to dry. Yeah, and you said you made, had made one more. Could you show us that close up? Yes, yes I will. Oh, it's over here. All right. Um, I showed you where is there. All right, when you cut the dye, like I said earlier, mm -hmm. it's like this. I did have one cut, but anyway, now I can't find it. And I haven't even moved off the chair. <laughs> so it's crazy, isn't it? It is. Um, okay, I'll move that out. So you cut it like this. It's got the creases, so you fold, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so it's really just a matter of how you fold it once you cut it out that gives you the different looks. Yeah, you just follow first. You've got no option but to follow the creases. Mm -hmm. okay. And then that comes out, that goes back, and then there's another crease right here. Mm -hmm. So you fold that back. And, you know, the good thing with the dye, I mean, we do sell – so many pre-scored cards in black, white, or cream. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many colors can we have? But having a dye, you can cut any color you like. I mean, and what do you... So that's what I did, uh -huh. right? But I've cut the oval. Once that drops, ah, okay, you fold, it's the crease is there, and mm. you just crease it the other way. Now you do have it down there, but look. Yeah, makes like an easel card. Yes. So what I did is, or you can put another, that's what I did there. There's a... Right. The tube. Uh -huh. Can you see the tube? But here I stuck another piece of paper, yes. which is double size, mm -hmm. just to hold it. So I flipped it. <laughs> and again, I've cut, you know, the two pieces. Mm -hmm. One, one down. And here I've used the three Ds that we sell so many uh -huh. and very easy. 10 years ago, that's all I knew what to do. Just put foam and 3D. Yeah. So on the bottom, you can put another white or blue and just write your sentiments on the bottom there. Mm -hmm. And it's easy. Again, you use the ovals. And again, I've used my happy birthday. But I've only cut it in our double-sided sticky paper. Oh, Okay. You can use, if you don't have double-sided sticky, you can use your sticky mm -hmm. and use it on our silicone paper. Oh, okay. And then you peel and again it becomes double-sided. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you, because I love bling. <laughs> yes. Um, I've put in the happy birthday, which I've only die cut. I didn't use the silhouette behind mm -hmm. it. I only use the happy and the birthday. And then 
I've lost. Here it is. I stuck it down, and now I'm going to lift the top because it's sticky, mm -hmm. right? So gently. Okay, so you've just yeah. got the clear adhesive left. That's right. Okay, just gently. All right. And we sell these spray, glitter spray bottles. Ooh. All right, it doesn't clog. It's got, um, can you see there? It's got a pump. Oh, okay. It's by Nelly. That's on our website. It's The code is PSB002. So you use, I had something else in here before, but I used white now, my white glitter. Uh -huh. And you just spray. Oh, wow. So you don't, it goes a bit everywhere because... <laughs> Glitter goes everywhere regardless. But it only, it would only stick where the stick is. All right. And the way I was holding it, it was wrong. You just hold it up. Mm. Now I will remove the happy for the birthday. And then you And so is that special glitter that you've put inside the bottle? No, just um fine glitter. Oh, okay. Just any fine glitter. Um it will take. I have another one here. I don't know you girls that do mixed media, this is brush oak. Oh, okay. So paper and then you spray water on your paper and you do brush out mm -hmm. you just spray that it will come out ah. it, it's not just that it will come out um anything that's in a powder form your embossing powder come on out see i did this last night and it dried okay so what you do is It will really only spray, it will stick, sorry, the spray would only, the glitter would only stick where the glue is. Mm. I did it remove the dot on the birthday. But it's only very, it shows only very fine on the birthday course it's a thing but if you do flowers or anything see you can have a bit of an effect there oh we can even see it sparkle can you yes, yes. I did a, you know i should have made a few but that's what you do you just die cut um and it doesn't have to be that long mm -hmm. but I, like i said i wasn't very careful removing it um but it does work and i love my bling like i'll do it in a bigger way and then you can see oh, where is it? it looks better on black i just i chose something so if you do it i just a piece of me um that's silver i've got a few bottles of everything Then I can go, I've got any other ones. So it's not anywhere mm. except there. You will just go back where the stick is. <laughs> and if you want more, that's... Oh, you know, lovely. One... Yes, we can see that sparkle. Yes, it does. And I don't know, um, maybe I should try the water. What I'll do is, all right, there's a bit of water there. Mm -hmm. The 
this is brush or whatever. Ah. This is my drops of water that I just sprayed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so, so brush can... is a pigment powder that activates in the water. Yes, so. exactly. And then I just put some bling on it. <laughs> so, yeah, you get different effects, but the glitter spray bottle is a good idea. I use it a lot, and I don't have glitter everywhere. But this is another way of doing the card. Mm -hmm. And there's many more ways, really. I mean, if you keep folding it, I was thinking something else, but then I'll run out of time to make you can use it oh yeah there is one and mary jeanette's very impressed that you're doing some mixed media now she'd be out of work soon tell her <laughs> she does all the classes in berry and i'm hopeless but she doesn't think i am but no I you are I doing can. fine <laughs> See, that's another way of doing this mm -hmm. this way or you can cut both you know how i did the car you can cut both oh okay yep right through and have it you know a double and you can put a different color mm. like there and look it's endless it's up to your imagination and i'm sure you know everybody's got a different taste and different ways of playing but i like that it's complete it has everything that you need to, and you don't need to buy another die mm. at all. You've got ovals, you've got corners, you can use the borders for other things as well. And it's a very impressive set. Yes, it is. I like my flowers, there's birds, and of course, your beautiful ballerina. The ballerina, exactly. <laughs> so, there we are three ways, one die. And it doesn't take long, ladies, believe me. No. Excellent. Okay, well, let you get your camera back up and we'll find out a bit more. Excellent. So thank you for all joining us. And again, isn't it just great to see how you can have that one die and just use it in so many different ways. You can see that they've really poured a lot of thought into designing it so that you've got all those bits. So Mary, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Michelle. Um, and for all the card makers out there um we have a special oh a special we all like um, a special the show last weekend or the weekend before i taken up we had a 20 percent sale on all our cards oh i think mary's freezing Okay, we've got Mary back I'm again. <laughs> okay. So you um, were saying you've got a special on your pre-cut cards. A special? Yes, on our pre-scored cards. It's on our webpage and the pre-scored craft zone pre-scored cards. Mm -hmm. We've got almost over 40 designs, but um, and they're all less 20%. Mm -hmm. I think we've finished the website this morning, so it reflects now if they order now they will have their 20% off. It should show it clearly. Mm -hmm. I checked the website before. Um, we've got 32 designs in three colors, black, white, and cream mm -hmm. in packs of five. And we've got some others that are already pre-printed and pre-scored about another, another eight designs. So you get 20% on all those. Then we've got our A5 um, Chris cards, mm -hmm. like this one. Yep. Already crease mm -hmm. in packets of 10 and our square crease mm -hmm. and then our other 125 get a 25 with envelopes this size oh okay and for the ladies all our paper is australian made it's um out of um australian paper mills and it's 300 up to 350 GSM. Oh, nice. So, so you need a good weight card. for those cards. It is very strong and it's acid and lignin free, of course. Mm -hmm. And it's solid. Like, it's not coated.
Okay, we've got Mary back. So I think we probably better finish up there. But of course, where is the best place for everyone to go and find you? Um, Wednesdays at Waverley Baptist Church mm-hmm. on Corner of Lum Road and Waverley Road. Uh, Saturdays in Beckley Park in uh, Corio. And Sundays at Akuna Park mm-hmm. in Berwick. Yep. So, yeah. Um, I forgot to say a little tip. Mm-hmm. Because this ballet cut is top heavy, it might go forward. Uh-huh. So, what I did is cut a corner, the middle bit. Can you see it there? Oh, okay, yep. Or oh, just... cut it at a bit of an angle so it sits back a bit. So now it's sitting back. Oh, excellent. So it doesn't do it. <laughs> Good <40 thinking. laughs> I just thought, hmm. Yeah, my late uncle taught me a few tricks, not on cut making, but other things. If it moves forward, tilt it back. Yeah. You just snip it. <laughs> Bring it but yeah, back. Now, Excellent. Well, we get everyone to go and check out the Craft Zone website to see that 20% off all pre cut cards. And like you said, free shipping for over $50, which is a fantastic offer. Thank you. And thank you, everybody, for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the card making today. Yeah, everyone definitely did. So if anyone does have any questions, pop them in the comments and we will definitely get back onto them. <laughs> Excellent. All Thanks, right. Mary. Thank you. Well, we hope you enjoyed that card demonstration and it is always amazing how Mary manages to put together cards that look so different but still with those basic techniques of using the die cutting and those dies, folding it in different ways, embossing different pieces and then just layering them up. It is just such an amazing way to make cards. So please go out and check the Craft Zone website. Take an opportunity of the special. It's a great way for you to stock up for all those pre-cut card bases so that you will be set for the rest of the year. So of course, if you have any other questions, pop them in the comments, give us a thumbs up, a like, let us know that you're there, share us with your crafty friends. And of course, we look forward to seeing you again soon on Peter P Craft Live. So this is Michelle signing off. We hope you have a crafty day.